If you've clicked around the internet long enough, you've probably seen this bottle or at least heard of or read the term Castile soap. And I'm sure many of you are wondering, what is Castile soap and what's so good about it? So this week we did some research, we've done some testing, and I'm gonna share with you all of the goods about Castile soap. Before we dive into this soapy endeavor, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. I don't have a teaching degree, but I do wanna give you a little bit of history on Castile soap. Many centuries ago, Castile soap was invented in the Castile region of Spain, where they are well known for their olives. So this is actually made out of olive oil, but any vegetable-based soap today is referred to as Castile soap. Unlike other kinds of soap that you might use, which have detergents and synthetics, as well as animal byproducts. So if you want to bathe like somebody from the 11th century, like a peasant or a minstrel, use Castile soap. I often get asked about great floor cleaning solutions and if you want a simple one that uses a very natural product, Castile soap is your guy. All you need to do is mix a quarter cup of Castile soap in two gallons of hot water and you can use this on essentially any floor surface. It's a very gentle soap and it leaves a beautiful streak free shine. Castile soap is pretty amazing when it comes to cleaning makeup brushes as well. I've been using it now for several months. Who needs to make a recipe when you can just basically put a few drops of this into your hand, swirl the brush into the soap, rinse it well, and hang it to dry. It works like a charm. For all of you who love DIY cleaning recipes, don't worry, I got you covered. Castile soap is a great ingredient for many DIY recipes. In fact, anywhere that you use dish soap, actually almost anywhere that you use dish soap, you can use Castile soap, just don't mix it with vinegar. Here's a great one you can try. It's a DIY soft scrub. And what you do is take a cup of baking soda to it, add a quarter cup of Castile soap, whip it all together, and add in five drops of your favorite essential oil. But if you add six, I won't tell anyone. And then just use it on any greasy, grimy surface. Great locations to try, your bathroom, your kitchen sink, your stove top. Trust me, this stuff works. And because eating healthy is something we should all do, this is your reminder to eat fruits and vegetables. And if you want them to be clean, you can use Castile soap to get them there. All you have to do is take a bowl filled with water, add a dash of Castile soap and stir it up. A dash is about an eighth of a teaspoon if you're getting scientific, but don't sweat it. Then just put your fruit or veggies in there, give it a nice swish, you know, use your hands, get it nice and agitated, rinse it in cold water, let it dry. Boom, clean fruits and vegetables, healthier insides, happy you. Anytime I go into someone's bathroom and they have foaming hand soap, I do a little hallelujah. It is so much better than regular hand soap. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. And with Castile soap, you can actually make your own foaming hand soap, which is also a great way to upcycle these very cool bottles. For this particular bottle, we used six ounces of water, a tablespoon of Castile soap, a half teaspoon of oil, in this case we use sweet almond oil, and we added 10 drops of essential oils. The oil is in the ingredients not only to help moisturize your hands, but to help lubricate the pump to keep it lasting longer. And if you don't have sweet almond oil, you can use olive oil instead. And finally, if you use unscented Castile soap, you can add your own essential oils, but many Castile soaps come with beautiful scents to begin with, so you can enjoy those if that's the brand that you have. Typically, when I talk about making your own products, it works out to costing you less than what you would spend if you bought a similar product in store. However, when it comes to Castile soap, that's not the case. It's going to cost you more money to use it, but there's good reason for it. First, it's vegan. This is vegetable-based soap. So if you don't wanna buy an animal-based product, here's your alternative. Also, it's more ecologically sound. So if that's important to you, this is a great option. And if you're like me and you're really into sort of the more natural side of things, you know, organic fruits and vegetables, farm-raised meat, this is going to be something that will really appeal to you as well. It's the more natural choice. One quick thing to keep in mind if you haven't tried Castile soap before, it is super sudsy. I mean, guys, this stuff is insanely sudsy but it works so well. You have to be really mindful about rinsing. So anything that you clean, make sure that you rinse it super well to get rid of all of those suds. And if you're in an area with hard water, you might wanna think about doing an additional rinse after you've cleaned of just vinegar and water. 
give whatever surface or item you cleaned a good rinse with that solution and you're good to go. Now you have an undergraduate degree in Castile Soapology and I hope you go and try it if you haven't tried it before. And if you do have some, I hope this has reinvigorated your passion for it. Okay, that might sound a little over the top. I know it's just soap, but guys, like it's good stuff. This week's comment question is, it's a three-parter actually. Do you use Castile soap? Do you love Castile soap? And what do you use Castile soap to clean? Let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from researching the history of soap, you can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker, the guy who cleans himself almost every day with Castile soap. He is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And the first video, because we're on the topic of how to clean using stuff, is how to clean using dish soap and the second video is how to clean using borax. So be sure to check those ones out. They are interesting, they are informative, and they will help you clean better. You can also visit our website, cleanmyspace.com, where you can sign up for our 100% free newsletter called The Dirty Dish. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.